Hey guys, and welcome back. In our last lesson, we learned about electron configuration and how to write the entire electron configuration for an element. Today, we are just building on that knowledge, and I'm going to teach you a shorthand way to write these configurations. So it's actually going to be a little bit easier and a little bit less time consuming to write these configurations today. So the type of configuration, we're still doing electron configuration, but this particular type is called noble gas configuration. Before we talk about how to do that, we have to remind ourselves of what the noble gases are, okay? So the noble gases here are in our periodic table. They are in group or family 18, also known as 8A. So 18 or 8A, 8A it doesn't matter. They're right here on the very right-hand side of our table. So they're on the right-hand side of the periodic table. And these elements include helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. Again, just these right here in group 18. Now, the reason these are called noble gases, well, number one, they all exist as a gas. They're all nonmetals, and we know that because they're on the right-hand side of the table. But number two, all of their energy shells are full, okay? So we know that electrons fill the energy shells in the electron cloud, right? But for the noble gases, all of their energy shells are completely full. So they can't fit any more electrons into their shells, which make them stable. They're not looking to grab or give away electrons. They're happy as they are. Now, because their electron shells are full, and we know that the noble gases have full shells, we can use them as a starting point for our electron configurations. So instead of starting at hydrogen for our noble gas configurations, we're gonna start at one of the noble gases, okay? Particularly, we're gonna start at the noble gas that's above the element we want to write the configuration for. So, Let's talk about the steps for writing noble gas configuration. Nothing is changing in terms of where the position of the elements are. So we're still talking about our S block, P block, D block, and F blocks, okay? So that's all the same. All we're doing is shortening the configuration. We're kind of like chopping off the first part of it until we get to a noble gas. So the example we're gonna do here is sulfur. Now really quickly, let's remind ourselves of the complete electron configuration of sulfur. Okay, so sulfur is right here. It is in period three. It is in block P, and it is the fourth element in that P block. Okay, so we know the final part of that code is gonna be three P four, because it's in P block and it's the fourth element, right? So if we were gonna do the full configuration, remember we have to start at hydrogen and we have to go all the way through until we get to sulfur. So it would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4. Okay, that's a pretty long configuration, right? Well, now we're gonna learn how to shorten it. So step one, we have to find the preceding noble gas. So let's go back to sulfur, which is right here. Sulfur is in period three. Okay, it's in period three. We want to find the noble gas that's in period two. Okay, so you just go to the period above the period that your element's in. Sulfur is in three. We want the noble gas from period two. The noble gas of period two, so we're just looking for the noble gas that's in that second row, is neon, okay? So neon is gonna be our noble gas that we're gonna use. So neon is our preceding noble gas. Once you have your noble gas, you're gonna put that noble gas into brackets. So its chemical symbol is gonna go into brackets. So we're gonna put a bracket around neon. And that's really important because it just shows us its noble gas configuration. And what you're basically saying is, okay, the entire electron configuration of neon plus the extras that you need to get to sulfur, okay? Because if you stopped right here, this is just shorthand for saying the electron configuration for neon. And then step three is just to write the remaining configuration, okay? Because we don't want neon, we want sulfur. So if we go back, basically instead of starting at hydrogen, we're starting at neon, okay? And we're gonna finish the configuration. 
So we're going to drop back down over here. So we have neon, then we have 3s2, because remember we have to go through these to get to sulfur. And this would be 3s1, 3s2, so we're going to say 3s2. Then we're going to come back this way, and it's 3p1, 2, 3, 4. So the noble gas configuration is neon, 3s2, 3p4 for sulfur. And then that would be your noble gas configuration, okay? So it's just basically you're chopping off the electron configuration at the beginning until you get to a noble gas before your element, and then you're just figuring out the configuration. If you know how to do the, the longhand version, this, hand, this, this way is a lot shorter and a lot easier. Okay, now um, I'm going to make a separate video of how to do these uh, so that you can use the video to help you with your assignment for the day because I'm going to do it probably with my dot camera and I'm going to write it out on paper just to make it a little bit easier for you. Um, but remember, we do need to know how to do it both ways. So the full electron configuration and the noble gas configuration. So I'll do the full for each one of these and the noble gas so you guys can see it. And I will link that in the evaluate portion of your lesson today. So make sure you check that out um, because again, I know electron configuration can be a little bit tricky, um, but I promise if you practice it, you will definitely get it down.